Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Rural TV. I'm Jay Wanakuri. Today I'll be having a chat with Nicole and Hamish Kelly. Now these two kids are dedicated young farmers who have recently had huge success with their pet calves at the annual Waikato World Show. So come along with me and we'll see what they've got to say. Hey, how's it going guys? Yeah. Good? Okay, so um, so tell me, what, or who got you guys involved in um, doing calf shows and things like that? Mum and your granddad. Your mum and your granddad? So, why, do you guys, why did you guys want to do, do calf shows? Did you, did you guys do um, agri Agricultural Day at your guys' school? Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we thought it was pretty fun, so we had gone and got it. Oh, uh, yeah. And why do you guys, why did you guys choose to do, um, do calves rather than doing, taking lambs or another animal to school? Because oh. the bigger, um, because we have, we have dairy farms. Oh, because you have a dairy farm. What about you? Uh, well, it's not really a choice. We have to have a calf or nothing because, um, we don't have, um, goats or lambs. So oh, yeah. That's good, eh? So after Agricultural Day, what do you, where do you guys go after that? We go to group day and show day. Group day and show day. So what do you guys do at group day? Is that where all the, um, all the... All the cars and schools come out. So all the schools from around the Waikato, do they all come to, oh, from around Te Pahu area? Yeah. Yeah, and they, you guys all compete there and since? Yeah, and then some people go to show day. Show day, yep. Yeah. And that's like the whole Waikato. So you guys went to the annual Waikato World Show Day. And you guys done really well there? Yeah. Tell us what... What um what did you guys win there? Uh, we won a couple of trophies. There was four, but we won um we won four, but uh, we didn't win rearing. Oh, you didn't win rearing. Mm. So tell us, what did you guys you guys cast names? Magic and Misty. Magic and Misty. And why did you guys choose Magic and Misty other than any other calf that that's on your list? Because card? they were good natured and. Better. What about you? Um, well, Misty, I wanted to have a jersey this year instead of a Frasian, so I chose a jersey. Oh, true. So. How did you guys, did you guys compete in um, Agriculture Day last year? Uh, yeah. How did you guys go then? Uh, Good? Yeah. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> so here, here your, um, your cup was born in a, or was, you guys um, found her in a... And how did she no, get, oh, the, water again. the drain, how did you guys find you there? Um, Dad was looking in the air and um, her mother um, was by the drain and then Dad looked in the drain and there was a calf in it. So how, how do you think she got there? Um, Dad thinks she, ro she rolled in the drain. Oh, she rolled in the drain. So what is one thing that you like about your calf and one thing you don't like about your calf? Is there any bad things that... I don't like about my calf because she bunts with her calf. She bunts with the other calf. Because she thinks they're a challenge to her and they're not pretty tough. And what's one thing that you really, really like about your calf? That she likes me and she has lots of fun with me. Oh, that's cool. What about you, Nicole? Um, Misty, she is friendly and she's got a good nature and um, you can just catch her with the bucket any time you want. Oh, that's cool. What about, was there one, one, one bad habit, one bad thing that you don't like that she does? Um, that she steps on my toes and it really hurts oh, she's bad. that's <laughs> no good. Okay, Nicole, so I hear that, that one of the judges said something really, really, really good about you guys at your egg, egg day. What um, do you say? Scott Mitchell, he's the, um, egg day, um, um, judge yeah. and um, when we, he said to us um, he hopes we go on to the um, Waikato show because um, he thinks we did really well. Oh that's cool eh? So tell me what things are involved in getting ready for, for Ag Day and for the World Waikato World Show? What things do you have to do to get, um, get ready for the show? Yeah well we have to groom them yeah. and spend time with them and make friends. Yeah. And just practice meeting with them so that we get them really good stuff and um, feed well. Yeah, that's good. So how many times a day you have to feed your um, the car? Twice a day, morning and night. Morning and night, so you go and, you go and feed them before you go to school? Yeah. And straight after school do you go a bit, a bit um, later? Have some, we have some food and go straight down. Go straight down. So um, what time, what time in the morning do you normally go down? Um, 7 o'clock. 
six or seven o'clock. Oh, you gotta get up early. So who helps you? So I hear sometimes you guys just like to sleep, and who who gets you guys? Gets you guys up. Mum and dad. Mum and dad. Mum and granddad. Granddad. Does granddad help out? No, no. Granddad lives up the road. Oh, so just mum. Is it just mum? Yeah. Mum. Oh, that's good, eh? Okay, now I'm here with Nicole and Hamish's lovely mum. Her name is Irene. Okay, so Irene, how do you think the kids have gone? You know, like, have they, do you think, have you seen them growing in their own maturity while they've been looking after their cars? So, what, what's your opinion then? Oh, definitely, because I think it teaches them the responsibility yeah. of caring for an animal. Um, they do it, they have to do it. Um, I help them um, as to getting their milk ready, but they do all the brushing and feeding and then they go and get the meal and they do all the leading. Yeah. We mainly focus on the leading yep. because that is solely child and um, calf effort. Yeah. The parent cannot lead the calf because the calf at the end won't lead for the, yeah. the child. So um, our main event is leading. We go yep. after the champion leading and this year I think they've um, been quite successful, very successful yes, actually. Yes. So I'm as proud as of them. So, yep. yeah. Well, that's about it from us today. I hope you enjoyed the interview. I'll see you later.